Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today we will be looking at the movie Heart of Stone. Do take care, there will be spoilers ahead. The movie begins with an MI6 operation taking place in the snowy scenes of the Alpine Arena in Italy. Taking the center position of this operation is a new agent named Rachel Stone. She is a hacking expert with no real field experience as part of MI6. She is working alongside a small team of three more agents, two field experts Parker and Yang as well as a getaway driver named Bailey. The plan is to apprehend Europe's most wanted arms dealer, a man named Mulvaney, who is currently at the resort to attend a secret gambling party. Rachel hacks into the framework, but when the system goes offline, she has to step into the hotel and physically hack into the network. Having done this, she is able to add Parker and Yang to the guest list. They walk into the gambling party and see that Mulvaney and the others are betting on live US military operations. Yang's cover is blown at some point and Parker has to handle Mulvaney by himself. It's at this dire moment that we get to find out Agent Rachel's true identity. Apparently, she is not inexperienced in the field and is actually an intelligence operative working for a secretive agency called The Charter. She is only undercover at MI6 for some reason. Rachel shows great expertise as she clears the path for her MI6 colleagues. Parker successfully captures Mulvaney, but unfortunately, the arms dealer kills himself before they could take him in. Just then, a mysterious woman hacks into MI6 communications, which indicates that there will be problems in the future. We know Rachel's secret, but her colleagues do not. Later, when they go out for drinks, Bailey raises the topic and explains his theory that the Charter has penetrated their operation. He believes that the Charter is a group of ex-intelligence agents from all over the world who have no political leanings or national ties. These agents have apparently come together to act on their own accord and carry out operations that suit the organizational goal of achieving global peace. The others question its existence, but Bailey asserts that the fact that nobody knows about them is proof that they are the most efficient organization on the planet. Later, Rachel goes to meet with her team. We learn that she is codenamed Nine of Hearts and works closely with a team headed by a man codenamed Jack of Hearts. Their leader is a woman named Nomad, but she is codenamed King of Hearts. The Charter is said to have four separate teams named after each of the four suits of a deck of cards, and the kings of the individual teams only gather when there is grave need to meet. We also learn that there is a secret weapon behind the success of the Charter. It is known as the Heart. It is a very efficient supercomputer that can hack into any system that runs on software technology, ranging from mobile cell phones to extremely secure bank vaults and government records. But that's only half of it. Aside from hacking, the heart can compute a series of possibilities in any given situation or event and then provide the best way to tackle the situation. Basically, it can predict the future in the sense that it can calculate the chance of success and failure involved in each of the possibilities of a given situation. It's the heart that was being fed to Rachel via comms that helped her take the shortest route down the mountain. With the heart, she can be sure that she is taking the safest bets during operations, which helps with the success of her missions. In the meantime, Rachel Stone is given some orders, but refuses. The leaders believe that she has failed to be completely emotionless and has created human bonds with her colleagues at MI6. Nomad warns her that getting too close to her temporary colleagues at MI6 will dull her judgment. Later, we see that she truly struggles to distance herself from her colleagues. It is also clear that Rachel and Parker are building a romantic connection. Eventually, this becomes a problem when they are on a mission in Lisbon. The assignment gets complicated, and Rachel is unable to just leave the team behind when things go south. They were preparing for a mission when the team's hideout was attacked by a group of men who came to search for something. Rachel connects with the powers of the heart and is able to determine the fastest and safest route of escape from the location. In the process, she goes against orders and goes back to the hideout to rescue her MI6 colleagues. It's revealed that Rachel had a hard time fitting into schools and groups when she was younger, so she finds it wholesome to be in a group that finally accepts her. She rescues her team members, but this leads to an unfortunate twist. Turns out that Parker is a double agent who has his own evil motives. As the team questions Rachel's driving and fighting skills, she reveals that she works for the Charter. 
Bailey and Yang are shocked, but Parker is not. He seems to have been waiting for this revelation. He shoots the other two dead and then reveals that he works with Kia, the young woman who hacked their system in Italy. It turns out that he wants the location of the heart so that he can steal it for himself. We now see that when Parker was alone with Mulvaney on the cable car, he was told that a charter member would lead him to the heart. Wanting to cover his tracks, he poisoned Mulvaney before the MI6 team could get to him. Now learning that it's Rachel, he poisons her and leaves a tracking chip in her shoulder. Just like he planned, Rachel is found and taken to the headquarters of the Hart team. When she comes to, she quickly removes the chip from her shoulders, but it is too late. The Charter network is remotely hacked into, which helps Kia and Parker steal the heart. Now that Rachel was compromised, she left the headquarters. On the way, she gets a call from Kia, who mocks her for getting kicked out of the Charter. Kia is shocked to learn that Parker killed Bailey and Yang. This is when it becomes clear that the two partners have stolen the heart for two different reasons. Nomad goes to an emergency meeting with the other King of Hearts. They talk about Parker. This is when we learn that Parker is actually angry at MI6. Despite his dedicated service, the organization had left him for dead on a previous mission. He wants to use the heart to kill every agent working for MI6. Parker and Kia make their way to the top of a locker. Rachel finds them and engages Parker in a fight. In the meantime, Kia focused on retrieving the heart. Parker and Kia are about to leave on the helicopter when Rachel jumps at Kia, so they both fall. The parachute brings them down to the desert and the two of them have to start walking. This is when we learn that Kia only wanted the power of the heart to get revenge on a pharmaceutical company responsible for her parents' death. While Kia only wants to expose an organization, Parker is bent on finding out the identities of every single agent and killing them. Parker, who is now the ultimate villain of the movie, sends mercenaries after them. Rachel escapes, but Kia makes her way back to Parker. At some point, Kia watches in horror as Parker kills the King of Diamonds and her kids in an elevator. Now seeing her mistake, Kia redeems herself by questioning Parker. When he refuses to stop, she takes control of the heart and sends a message to Rachel, leading her to their current location. Rachel and Kia work together and kill Parker. Although some other teams in the Charter organization had already been killed, Rachel was able to save Nomad and the rest of her heart's team just in time before they ran out of oxygen. The movie forwards to a month after the incident. Rachel Stone goes to Bailey's house and drops off something for Bailey's niece. It is a toy house that he had bought before he died, while Kia was serving time in a safe house for the crime she committed. She was apparently set free and Rachel went to visit her. She gives Kia a Joker card, an invitation to join the Charter, and puts her talents to good use. The movie ends with Rachel, Kia, and Jack taking on a new mission for the Charter together. Hope you enjoyed it. Do leave a comment telling us your favorite part of the movie. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next recap. Until next time, folks, take care and goodbye.